Satchel Burton. I'm a senior here, uh, history major, business minor, and I also play uh, football and run track. Uh, I think the obvious difference between a student and a student athlete uh, is the workload. So for a student, uh, you know, obviously has schoolwork, but for a student athlete, there's also practice, uh, weightlifting, uh, games, uh, film study uh, stacked on top of it. So I would say the time commitment is probably the most different, uh, you know, different quality about each and the fact that also within sports, uh, you have a more intimate brotherhood um, that you're kind of um, granted into uh, versus being a student um, who may not have those same uh, kind of groups uh, if they're not in a fraternity or in a club or anything like that. One thing that I've really learned and that will definitely carry me uh, through life is the art of uh, managing uh, your time. Um, like I said, you know, student athletes, you have a lot of things uh, kind of on your mental uh, and only so much time during the day. So it has really taught me to be disciplined with, you know, how many hours I have uh, and what I use those hours for, uh, making sure that I, you know, don't procrastinate or put things off and I take care of them uh, right when they are needed to be done, uh, you know, which will help you get your schoolwork and your sports work done. I think that's applicable to, you know, my life after Wabash College and into the workforce too. That uh, leadership, um, you know, when you're working with a group of 150 guys to a group of 70 guys, uh, you have younger guys, older guys, uh, and part of being, you know, as me as being an upperclassman now, uh, I had to learn how to uh, show the younger guys how uh, we do things here. Uh, and a lot of that is done through being a leader uh, on the field or on the track, but also in the classroom because, um, you know, they look up to you and you're one of their, you know, first experiences of what a Wabash student athlete is. And so it's kind of um, where I've been able to really develop my leadership skills. And then also, uh, you know, hard work works hard uh, with the schoolwork and then, uh, you know, the work that you have to do as an athlete. Um, just taught me that if you want success or great things uh, to come in your life, they do require work and sacrifice. Um, you know, I've spent countless hours after practice uh, with Brian Parks, uh, you know, just kind of working on our craft and then going right to study tables right after. So uh, a lot of things you could be doing um, during that time, but I've just learned uh, that hard work um, is a key to success. Um, having teammates is really given me uh, a sense of playing for something greater uh, than yourself or working towards something that's greater than yourself. Um, just because that obviously in football and track, it's not just uh, you out there. There is a group of other guys who depend on you, um, whether they're in your same event or they're on the field with you or they count on you uh, to push them harder in practice. Um, and just you know having that mentality of um, you know, I'm doing it for the guy next to me has really helped me become uh, more of a selfless person uh, and has really taught me to uh, care and, for, you know, the other guys who you're working with. Sports has helped me actually grow personally in my walk with uh, the Lord. Um, sports, a lot of things can happen, uh, a lot of things out of your control. Uh, and if you put your hope in those things or get caught up and uh, what you can't necessarily take care of. Um, it can be really stressful and it can uh, really weigh on you. And so um, just going through that and through the difficult times of wins, losses, workouts, I've really just learned that to uh, you know count on the Lord Jesus Christ uh, for support through those times, uh, which has you know, done so much for me as a person.